Montana. I know everyone. That is a big testimony from the Lord. And I know it. But God want us not to worry no more. Because he's back with some amazing things that he want to do in this world. And he's back for healing and doing miracles around the world. But we have to realize that there's a God. There's somebody that's ahead of our lives and yours and also mine. And I'm a witness to it because my diagnosis tells it all. And all you have to do is believe what God can do for you and you can live out of it. Because God do not put nothing on you at all that will hurt you. God wants to do things in this universe. He wants to come into your life. He also wants you to come into his. Some people are bigger, some people are smaller. And God ready to do things to the people that he had his eye on. Do you know God has an eye on certain individuals? And I'm one of them. When my dad knows it's scary. But I got to let the Lord deal with it. Because if, if it were not been for God, I wouldn't be here right today. Because God has a touch on each and every one of us. We're moving more and more up in time. And God ready to do some things for for the for these peoples. And it's not just me. He ready to do some things for you. People that have sickness. He tired of you suffering. Going through pain. Loving your family, loving your peoples. <clears throat> he wants you to love. But he's here to do some things in your life. Gosh, I'm not ready for you. You had a journey. You had a long journey. And the journey is, I want you to tell your testimony. <laughs> And my testimony was that God is right beside me and that he loved me, that he's not going to give me no more out and back. He said, hold on, son. You has the favor. You has, you has the power to accept this healing. I said, thank you, Jesus. One thing he want me to get out there is that he's back and he's not playing no more. He's not playing no more, not playing with no people no more. Because if you don't have yourself right, I know you probably will get yourself right because God is on a walking path. He's on a walking path. And he wants to heal. He wants to show miracles. He wants people to understand what he can do for you. And God can show what he can do through you. Just about what you came out of the breakthroughs of the goodness of God. See, the goodness of God is more natural. You don't have to think bad. I 
you got to do is think positive and have faith what the Lord can do for you. But as we age, it's time to get right. God said, he don't take your living from you. But what he wants you to do is to know that he is God and that he's back and that he's trying to heal and do miracles. He's all in the hospitals. Look at all these people coming up with all these different types of diseases and not knowing where they are coming from. I'm going to tell you something. The Lord don't do that. The devil will do things that will poison your mind and think that you're not going to make it. But with God, you can make it. Somebody said, with God, you can make it. Yeah. And I look at it that it's time to get right. A lot of people say, yeah, I'm right. No, you're not. Because you're not doing the right figures of what we here to do. See, we all, <coughs> excuse me, got a little sign, my sign is messed up. But we all here got assignment. And God is ready for you to use that assignment that he has inside of you. And if you have a sickness, God can take it away. Whether it's a form of cancer, other cancer, other cancer, other cancer. Blood pressure, diabetes, sickle cell. It just goes on. Every time I look at the news, I see commercials of sickness. And it's like a message to me. Because God told me, you're going to live. He want me to let the people know the goodness of what he done for me. And I was diagnosed last year, got back on my feet. Uh, I tried to tag me again. But like I said, you have to fight what you believe in. You got to put it all in God's hand because if you don't put it in God's hand, ain't nobody else to help you. God is reaching out for all of you. God wants you to follow this path because he's on a journey. And if you're at a certain age anyway, it's time to get with him. Because it's a new atmosphere right now. The way it is, it's trying to, the devil trying to destroy some of us. Especially the ones that have the knowledge of knowing who God is. Our Father, His Son, Jesus. Amen. And I put it like this. God is talking to us. He's showing us how to get out of this breakthrough. But sometimes we don't pay attention what is taught through the mind, through the dreams, through the power. Do you know how much power do you have if you just let God come into your life? We have things that we can do that they did centuries and centuries and billions and years ago where he can put things that you could do with your body that will do some healing to some of these people. See, we all have different gifts. <clears throat> we all have different gifts. And to know your gift is to 
listen to what God has to tell you. Because Jesus died on the cross for our sin, that we should live again, and that we will see heaven. I'm not talking about hell, because that, that, that's a demon. Hell ain't nothing, nothing, nothing to be there. It ain't nothing there for us, if you're a good person. See, like to me, things always happen to the good people. That's the way the devil works. The more you get close to God, the more he takes action. But I just tell people that get more closer to God because he's on the journey and he wants to do miracles in your life. Yes, he do. He's on the healing process right now. I'm a living witness to it. So, believe what I tell you. He's on a journey. He's walking the streets right now. God. Jesus' father. He's all in a, all in the hospital. And one thing I could say that there's angels. There are such things as angels. Because I saw them a lot. They pretty. Beautiful. But the angels are the peoples. That's right here. They has a gold. They has a light <clears throat> ring above their head. And that's what keep them looking bright. When you hear somebody said that, one of the saints or one of the praises or somebody praying for you that you know you can feel it. Them are the ones that have their brightness on them. Because you would tell them, oh, you look so bright. You so beautiful. I could feel the anointing. I could feel Jesus around me. Them angels. Yes, there's a such thing as angels. And it's just it's a such thing of in favor. And yes, it's a such thing as you're not going nowhere right now. Because God has all answers to every question. I call him Dr. Jesus. Miracle worker. He's he's back. God wants people to serve him. And he has appointed individuals. He could take anything off of you if you just let him in your heart. Just let him in your heart. Because God said, I can answer all things. Everything you ask for. I can, I can be there because he never leaves you alone. All he wants you to do is trust and have faith and believe and hope and trust and do what you have to do to survive the sickness that you have. I woke up because it's, it's early, early, early in the morning, but I wanted to deliver this message while it was appointed from God to get it out there to you guys. And knowing that this is my breakthrough. <clears throat> it's my second time that the disease done approach me. And it kind of hit me a little different this time because Sometimes we don't take stuff seriously, but we have to. Because God ain't here to kill and destroy and put you up under. The devil sits back and laughs and do that and wants this to happen to you. But God said, no, not this one. This is a special one. I'm going to pick him up and bring him out. So peoples should know the miracle of the goodness, what I could do 
for them also the same way. But I just want to tell y'all, feel the Holy Ghost one time and feel that spirit. And go to someone's church while you can. Because this world going to be here when you're dead and gone. You can't keep up with it. But you can enjoy it because it's a beautiful world. My life right now, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take trips. I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy my life. Cause you never know how precious this world is. You can be gone and out one day and down one day. I love people so much, and I and I know and I know they love me because I saw it. I saw it, but I said to myself, "Okay, the people love me. God love me, and it don't stop." But I guess it's the way your heart, where your heart at. See, if you devious. Ain't no way out. That's where the blessings come in at for what you have done on this earth that was good. And it's called, he deserved that favor. He deserved that favor. Somebody said he deserved that favor. He said again, he deserved that favor. And It's so beautiful. I, I remember I, I, I read a scripture about Daniel. And Daniel carried faith because God showed him signs and the kings and all these people back there, they thought they was better than God. And that we had to be, we had to destroy him because everybody wanted to be a king and everybody witchcraft all that stuff was going on, but they put him in there with them lions. I said, "Oh, that's so beautiful!" And when they opened. The stone that he was put in. Old Daniel came on out of there. <laughs> yeah, and him and the lions, they was talking and loving him like it was like they was just pets that we have in our house. Like cats. And they couldn't believe. But let me tell you something, you have to believe what God can do for you. If you have faith. Can't nobody touch you at all. Fate carries so far distance. So far distance. And I'm 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 waking up feeling good. And I love the way people love me. I didn't drive that. That was already carried in way because of the way I carry myself. I always try to treat everybody right. If I get mad at you, it just be a little short time. Because we all have our backwards and forwards. Our movement. But I never was a real, real bad guy. And it pays off. Because God watched everything we do in life. Throughout generations. He already knew what was going to be going on before it happened. And God is on a healing journey. I just saw that's That's the message. And he wants you to get ready. Because he have individuals. Journey is ready for. And jobs. 
and the doors to be worked in in churches. God said, let not, hot, let not your heart be troubled, but let it last always. And he will come into your heart if you just let him be. And I believe that because your heart are always open when it comes to Jesus. And let him know the pain that's in your breakthroughs. Whether you has a bill to pay and can't pay, whether you have problems in your life, relationships, and etc. Give it up to God. He will work it out for you like he worked it out for me. And I'm so glad that I'm still here today and still let me live, not die. Because I'm on my fourth stage of lymphoma. Never know where it came from. But God had worked it out for me. He cleared me all the way through my bones. <clears throat> when the test results came back, when they thought I was out of there, oh, Mr. Reese, we had something different. You look so clear through your whole body, spine, and all that. I said, thank you, Jesus. But whether they knew it or not, God had already told me he took care of that because he said, prayers that went up t for you up there, over a million of them. I said, whoa. He said, I love you. People love you. The churches, they love you. They want you to share what you have to share. So I gave you favor and I'm going to let you live. It's all going to be washed away because the praise went up to me. He said, don't worry about nothing. It takes worse to get better. To let you understand how I brought you out from the dark to the light. So I said, God, I'm going to let you deal with me. And I'm going to tell this testimony around the world. And now I'm ready to do things. I want to enjoy my life. I want to do things that I never did before. I want to try traveling because I've never been on an airplane and all that type of stuff. But God said, it's a beautiful world. Everything that I made is beautiful, and that is great. Out of my own image, when I make the birds, the flowers, the trees, with the water, sunlight, and the moon, I said it was beautiful. And when I made human out of flush, I said, beautiful. But I mean, and do you know animals are supposed to talk? They're supposed to talk. We don't know how their voice would sound, but when they was put on this earth, they're supposed to talk. Rub them. We don't supposed to be eating no animals and all that type of stuff. But man discovers a lot of things that will poison our system. Right now today they got scientists that's talking about we can put a body in a vault and let them when they when, and let and when they pass away, we can take their body and put it in the incubator. This is true. We can put it in the incubator and let them live let them stay in there for over a hundred years. And by that time, things would be working with space and all this type of stuff that they won't remember some of the things. They won't remember what world they really came from. 
they're gonna be acrobatic. They start it's right today. Scientists. But let me tell you something. You can't never go over God. You can't never go over God. These people is coming up with ideas that no man never had. They already had new. We're just moving more and more in the future. But God said, get yourself right. Because there's some things that you might not be able to reach and see. At least go to church on Sunday. Find somebody church to go to. And be a part of it. If you know how to say, go to the choir. If you know how to dance, praise dance. If you know how to preach, preach. If you want to be a pastor, get discovered. Don't be a false pastor or a false preacher because you have false preachers too. Make you believe what you what your what your belief don't believe. But God give us sense enough to know that. Anyway, and if you past thirty years old. You should know. Time is winding up. Look at the, look at this generation. Some of them don't have no respect, no remorse for the for the elders, no respect for the grown people. But it take time for them to understand that their life on the journey too. They has a they has a, a great start, a great journey. And what we do in life always shows at the end. And get them more involved with Christ too. Besides the streets. The streets are gonna be there when you're dead and gone. The devil show no action with the streets. <coughs> like I told God, I say, yeah. I'm gonna do some things. But God just let me hold on to what I mainly like to do. I love music. And I like entertainment. I've been liking that since I was five years old. And music just do something to me. It makes me feel good. It, it relaxes my soul. And I also want to use it as a career, as my job. Uh, whether I, I play gospel music for churches or um, events. And I told him I want to keep playing music for others. Not too nasty music, not all that violent. But my old school, I want to use that as my employer, my job. He said, you know what? You keep that. Just serve me and stay in church and convince the people the goodness of what I did for you. So they will see because he said all the prayers that went up for you, it was, it was a lot of them. And I just want to thank you guys for having hope for me and believing I can come out of this and knowing that God got my back and he's on my side and that he let me live a new life and restored my whole body, my soul right there in that hospital on my sick bed. And he want me to tell you that Continue to pray for me and believe that God is inside of all of us and that he wants everyone to get right and that he's on a healing process and he's walking. He's really in the hospitals and he's walking the street too. He wants to give breakthroughs. He wants you to feel the wind at the fire. Amen. And I appreciate 
on my number one. Supporter, Sherry, thank you so much for being there with me. Keeping my mind focused and not letting me down. Thank you. I got to say, you got to have supporters. If you ain't got no backbone, then you don't have nothing. And I just want to thank you, Sherry, for being there for all the hard work. Because it's work in this. Thank you for helping me and being with my breakthrough. Amen.